What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to Forza Horizon 5 here in the autumn season of series number 3. Today we're going to be jumping in to continue our playthrough of the weekly festival playlist. As you can see we're driving our Volkswagen Scirocco that we unlocked in the last video. Um, so if you haven't seen that definitely go check it out. But today let's go ahead and jump into the festival playlist here. Um, I don't know if I'll do this weekly fourth on challenge um just looking at it first three chapters are you know normal right normal you get to chapter number four and you have to drive a hundred miles in this car being the old bentley four and a half liter and it's completely doable it really is it's not that big of a deal. It's a huge sink of time. It's probably like 30 or so minutes worth of driving. So we may not do that. I don't know. I may do the first three chapters and then just maybe the rest of it off screen. I'm not 100% sure. But um, today we're going to jump into the dangerous or the seasonal PR stunts, the treasure hunt, and the photo challenge. So uh, I'm going to start out with the PR stunts. So we'll go over here to Eagle's Perch. And let's see what our restrictions are. So B class 700 and it has to be a Mitsubishi. So, and we need to get 767 feet on that danger side. So we're gonna jump over here. We'll start way back here and then I will get into a Mitsubishi. We'll look at tunes and get going. All right, we're jumping into the 95 Eclipse, and then let's see what kind of tune we can get here. We'll do this one here from Don't Give a Deuce. So the share code for the tune is right here on the screen, 384-868-578. And I believe this is a completely stock Eclipse, so it'll cost you almost 40,000 credits. Which, I mean, we're getting a wheel spin, so you could potentially get that back, or you could not, so. Let's see if this thing can do this jump. We need 767 feet, I believe it was. Getting a really good run up. So this is just a B-class car, has some understeer, which is it's understandable there. Arrived at your and I think we got it. Yeah, we definitely got it. There we go. <laughs> Who's that guy in? BMW. Okay, so we got that seasonal objective complete. Let's take a look here. Um, we'll do water splash next. So this is. A classic rally and B700, so we need to get 82 miles an hour through that one. Um, so we'll start over here, we'll say, and try it out. All right, we're going to try it with the 1970 Ford GT70. And we'll give this one a shot from Don't Give a Deuce. So the share code for it is going to be 682-592-282. And on a stock GT70, it'll cost you 40, roughly 44,000 credits. All right, here we go. So we needed 82 miles an hour in the speed trap or speed zone. We'll see if this thing can do it. This might not be the way to hit it because of that water puddle there. Where we get to the lowest part of water. And there's a water thing here as well. It's going to. Oh, we got it. Okay. Try. There we go. You thought about how you'll celebrate when you three star all these speed zones. All those lights up front are rather. I mean, that's. Old, right? Old school, so. Alright, there we go. Second one is done. Last we have here is Swamplands, and it needs the Ferrari F40 and an A-Class. 
Looking at it, we need to hit 148 miles an hour in this speed trap. So I think we'll hit it from this way. And then we'll just turn around and then jump into an F40. All right, so I don't have an F40 and to avoid going back to the actual garage or festival to buy it, you can actually just go to the car collection and buy it from here. It is 1.2 million credits. So that's unfortunate. I do have the F40 Competizione, but it will not go down to F or A class. So I'm assuming that you have to use the actual Ferrari F40, which is an A class anyway. All right, so got that out, and now we can look at Tune. And we'll just, yeah, do this one from Sanip. The share code 605-987-532. And it will cost you 32,000 credits on top of your 1.2 million if you have to buy it. Let's look at Car Mastery. Yeah, we'll just get 25,000 of those credits back, right? Easy peasy. All right, here we go. So we needed 148 miles an hour. Yes, that's our speed that we've got to hit through here. Let's see, I mean, this thing feels pretty good. Barely got that around that turn. It may be easier to. Eh, it's really sitting on an awkward spot there, isn't it? So I don't know which way it would be easier to hit that from. So, but we got it from that way. Just really hugging that inside um, and feathering the throttle. So, let me go back and see if I can get this XP board real quick. Uh, let's see. Things to not do in your Ferrari F40 would be to take it into the water. All right, there we go. So now we can move into the treasure hunt. And that is cause a wreck in the Nissan GTR 2017, matching the generation number for tries. All right, and so for the generation, it's either six or seven. So I'm assuming that we need to do six or seven wreckage skills in the 2017 GTR. So we'll go down here to Nissan. And 2017 is the one we've got the wide body on. So we've already had a tune set up on this. I mean, it looks not great with that big old wang, but it is what it is. So let's see here. I don't know if we need all ultimate wreckage or what. And again, I'm not 100% sure if it's six or seven, because I don't know if they count. There was kind of a, I mean, R34 or fives or, you know, anything that's this body style, but there was like an update to them. Um, so one website said seventh, one said sixth. So I'm not 100% sure. Definitely let me know down below. Um, if you know the answer to what generation uh, the R thirty fives are, Ooh, thanks. man, just bouncing off all the trees over here. Yeah, the treasure hunts, I'm not too thrilled with, like, their clues. I really haven't, like, they haven't been super duper great. Like, in Fortune Island, they had really good clues that seemed like they actually, like, took some time to think about them, you know, make them easy enough to get. Um, but these, I mean, this one's not, like, terribly hard as long as it is what I think it is. But there's an XP board down there. That's a wheel spin for owning our hotel house. Yeah, but like the treasure hunts in here have been 
much more difficult to determine what they actually are. For me, at least. So, we'll see if this gets it. I mean, I don't know. Maybe it's saying that we need 35, since it's the R35. That wouldn't make much sense, because it's not the generation. And this thing doesn't give you, like, a progression counter either, I don't believe. Let's see. It does not. So I don't know where we're at in it, or if we're even doing it right. Getting out of the jungle though, that might help us out here. Park's not going to help us. Alright, treasure hunt challenge complete. So, I don't know, you know, what it is. And whether it's six or seven. And I'm assuming it's just ultimate wreckages. So, now we go up here. We'll just jump up here. And then take a look at the actual challenge card again. Because it kind of gives you hints on where it may be. Well, that's not much of a hint at all, is it? So... Usually there's like a picture there, but that was definitely not one, at least that I have recognized. I'm just kind of climbing up here. Let's seeing if we can't find it up here. I wonder if that was just glitched. Let's go back over here. No, it's still like that. Okay. Do something we haven't done in this game yet. Let's go into drone mode. I have oh, yet to experience drone Bryson mode. has the coolest gadgets. That drone is perfect for exploring Mexico from the air. See things from another angle, you know? Only because I don't want to spend all day looking for this treasure chest. I don't know if that, like, hint is, like, glitched or if that's what it actually is. It's not very good. Really doesn't help you out at all. Oh, found it. Okay. Yeah, that's not very good. Curious if I could run into it with this and it would work, so. Um, okay. So we'll exit that. Now I'm curious, like, is that. I mean, it's just like a blank. It's. Not showing the actual picture, that's what it is, so... Yeah, that was messed up for us there. But, we found it with the drone mode, which is nice. Probably would have been a lot easier to find that... If that picture actually worked for us. But I'm just glad that it is actually showing up in the world. So let's go over here and knock this down right quick. Your destination. Okay, and then this will get us 50,000 credits. And then we have one more thing to do for our video here, and that is the photo challenge. So jumping into that, you can see we need to jump into the 99 Ford Racing Puma and take a photo in La Selva. And I think La Selva is just Anything down here? I think? Yeah. Right here, in this area. So. Um, so I'm just gonna go ahead and jump down there. I think I have the racing Puma. I'm not 100% sure, but we'll jump down here and take that photo. 
and then call this video done. Okay, so I've got the Forza Edition Racing Puma. I'm curious to know if it counts that. Let's see. It just says A, Ford Racing Puma. It's not counting the actual challenge like at all though. Okay, so I'm assuming that it's either just glitched, which we've already seen it's been glitched, or this isn't working. But typically when you do that, um, you know, the fast whatever, um, it at least checks those off for you. So let me see here. Racing Puma, we're going to buy it for 20,000 credits. Jump into it here. And let's try another photograph. Okay, so it got that. So we're not in Silva. Okay. I definitely thought that that was what this area down here was, was La Silva. Or is it the top? No, I'm just blind as can be. I was on the wrong road, so La Selva is down here, so I'm assuming that it's like anything in this general area, potentially. So let's just go to the airfield. From here, we can take a photo of our racing Puma and the scared Pagani running away. There we go. So that gets the photo challenge done. And that gets us all squared up for those challenges. We've just got the uh, playground games and the weekly Forzathon challenge, which again, I'm not 100% sure that I'm going to do that one at least to completion this week. Um, just because that's a lot. Actually, let's let's make that determination right now. I don't even know if I have that Bentley. I do have the Bentley. Man. That was going to make it an easy no if I didn't have it. So I guess we'll do some of it. But anyway, I hope you guys did enjoy the video um, or found it helpful. If you did, definitely leave a like on the video. Definitely get subscribed for future Forza Horizon 5 content just like this. But other than that, I hope you have a great rest of your day. And we will see you in the next one.